it's been a while since I've done a recording on here. You know, through the last two years, I've been doing recordings almost daily, pretty much daily. And if you remember, I had a theme for each day of the week. And that to me was, for me, as much as it was for you, a coping mechanism to get through, which was a devastating, shocking, stunning time for the world and for our country here in America. Well, we're still in quite a struggle, aren't we? We have all kinds of issues. I won't list them here because my agenda for this recording is about an uplift, not a deceleration in happiness and joy and healthfulness. Why? Well, because it makes good sense. But, you know, the other part of this is I want to focus all of us and the good things that are really happening. So for instance, we're just right around the bend from Thanksgiving. And what I would love to do for Thanksgiving and in honor of Thanksgiving is let's take a look at where we're at. You know, nobody's telling us this year that we shouldn't do Halloween. Okay, we did it. It was pretty sweet, wasn't it? And nobody's mandating that we shouldn't do Thanksgiving. Great, because I'm really looking forward to it. I love all the ceremony around the Thanksgiving holiday. And people are so eager for Christmas this year. At least that's what I'm noticing. There's an eager anticipation of don't stop me, don't stop us. We want to come together. We want to decorate. We want to eat. We want to sing. We want to hug. We want to sit next to each other and be close and love and enjoy one another. Great. And you know what that means? That means expressions of gratitude. I've got this chalkboard in my kitchen, which says, these are the things that I'm grateful for. I bought it with that painted at the top of it. And it comes with chalk. And so I keep kind of a running tab of what it is that I'm grateful for. And I look at it and I sit at my counter and I sip my coffee or I drink my water or I have a glass of wine or hot tea or something. And I think about, okay, all the things I'm grateful for. And I don't have to think about it for very long because I just, boom, pile it off. There's a lot of things to be grateful for. The ability to breathe. Uh, being upright, having all of our senses, having the wherewithal to know that we ought to be grateful, that we are grateful, having an appreciation for the way that our mind works and that our body is functional. And when it isn't, we know how to get it back into being functional for the friends that we have, the voice that we have, the ways in which we can sing and see and hear and taste and feel. And, you know, the list goes on. Um, being grateful for our money, whatever money you have, be grateful for it and invite more in because it works that way. You're grateful for your friends. Great. When you're grateful for them, you invite more in. You're grateful for the faith filled connection that you have with who you hold as your creator. I know who I hold. I'm pretty traditional. I pray to God all day every day. It's just an ongoing conversation. Some of it external, most of it very internal between me and my God. So today is, let's take a little walk through what do I do on Facebook and what are my live posts about? Most of the time I'm taking you into nature either to the beach or to the woods or on some sort of a drive and pointing out the beauty of nature, of architecture, of history, of memories, of hopes and dreams. And, and I am saying, breathe with me, please. And how about if we breathe in confidence? Exhale out. When we breathe in confidence, go ahead, 
and try not to allow yourself to be uplifted as you infiltrate every soul, every cell, every cell in your being touching your soul. It'll put a smile on your face. It'll take care of the lines on your face that are about worry and concern. And when you exhale doubt, you're just letting it go, releasing it, which is what we all benefit from doing. <sighs> Breathe. You know, take a couple of good breaths and then just in your normal rhythm, be thinking to yourself, I'm inhaling confidence and I'm exhaling doubt. I'm inhaling happiness and good energy and love and I'm letting all the junk, the negativity and the hassles just dissipate. I guarantee you that you will feel better when you do these things. Just do it. What have you got to lose? And by the way, if you have a complaint when you start doing it, if it doesn't do what it is I'm telling you it's going to do, write me a note or call me or text me or message me or social media me. Make a comment and let me know. And I will try something else or we'll have a conversation and figure out what's the blockage. Okay. So for now, I'm going to wish you a wonderful, beautiful day. Take another good breath and rejoice that you're able to. On that note, peace out.